In one of my recent videos, I have used MAX7219 module to control 8x8 LED matrix. You can also purchase 4, 6 or 8 digit display modules, which also have a built-in MAX7219 chip. This chip allows you to control 64 LEDs, so having 8 digits with 7 segments each, plus 8 possible decimal points, make exactly 64 LEDs. This video will cover controlling 4-digit 7-segment display this way, but with a certain twist. We are not going with ready-to-use display modules. Instead, we are going to use the MAX7219 module that came with the 8x8 matrix, get rid of the matrix and connect it ourselves to 4-digit display. You may ask why would I do that if I can buy components which are already pre-connected? Well, firstly I want to prove the concept and secondly, when I can control this display, I can also control a bunch of LEDs which I can arrange on a PCB to build 4-digit display myself, but with much larger custom segments and to build a clock with it. At least that's the plan. So let's dive in. So here is the MAX7219 8x8 LED matrix module. When we remove the matrix, you see the connection pins. And here is the pin layout. Pins C1 to C8 are matrix columns and pins R1 to R8 are matrix rows. Individual segments of the 7 segment display are connected to the column pins. So the decimal point goes to column 1, A segment goes to column 2, B segment goes to column 3, C segment goes to column 4, D segment goes to column 5, E segment goes to column 6, F segment goes to column 7, and finally G segment goes to column 8. The first row controls the most significant digit of the display. Next digits are controlled by rows 2 to 4. Pins for rows 5 to 8 are not used as we have just 4 digits. Let's have a look at the 4 digit display. We need to use a common cathode one. Common anode would not work with MAX7219, at least not without some additional tweaks. The display, like this, is actually 8x4 matrix where the columns are linked to the individual segments and the rows represent 4 digits of the display. Here is the pinout. So we can now map this 8x4 matrix to the 8x8 matrix that our MAX7219 module was supposed to control. We also have 8 columns representing 7 segments and a decimal point. And then we have row 1 for the most significant digit and rows 2, 3 and 4 for the subsequent ones. The other half of the matrix is not used. It would be if we are controlling 8 digits instead of 4. So here we connect MAX7219 module to the 4 digit display and then to Arduino. First we connect the columns. Then we connect the four rows. Finally, we connect module to Arduino, starting with VCC and ground, and then connecting data in pin to Arduino digital pin 12, clock to digital pin 11, and load pin to digital pin 10. Let's connect the real thing. In the code we will be using LED control library. If you are not familiar with it, I strongly advise you check my other video where I discussed controlling 8x8 matrix with MAX7219 module. There you will find a lot of useful information on how to install this library and use it. Let's do a quick recap of the most important commands from that library which would be useful in this project. To display any combination of segments you can use set row command. You pass the byte to the setRow command where each bit corresponds to each segment's state. 
In this example, we will lit decimal points. Set digit can be used to display digits from 0 to 9. The last boolean input value indicates whether the decimal point of the selected digit should be lit. And finally, you have set car command, which allows to display a character which belongs to a subset of characters which can be output to that display. Not all characters can. Here's the full list of available characters. Now that we have everything connected, we can open a sample program that comes with the library. It will output Arduino text character at a time and then scroll some digits. Test worked, so we connected everything perfectly. If you do not like to rely on someone else's code to check if everything works, we can write our own code to lit all individual segments and decimal points on the display. To start, we need to declare the LED control library. Then, we declare the MAX7219 module connected to digital pins 10, 11 and 12. Then, we have a delay time variable. And the value stored in that variable is the interval in between different states of the display. In setup function, we need to define few controls for the module. By default, it is in standby, so we need to turn it on, set LED brightness and clear it. In the main loop, we have two for loops. The first one goes through four available digits. We have a row bits variable which stores eight bits, one for each segment of the current digit. To start, we have the most significant bit set, which corresponds to decimal point. The code in the next for loop is executed eight times. In it, we use set row command to lit the segments of the current digit according to the information stored in the row bits variable. With first execution, we lit decimal point. Then we perform the shift of all the bits to the right. So next time the code in the for loop is executed, we would lit segments A, then B, and so on. Then we move to the next digit, and the procedure is repeated. The whole process would look like this. This way, we would lit all the segments one by one, checking if the connectivity is okay, and also if all the segments of the display are working properly. Let's send the sketch to the board and see the result. Code works, and connectivity and the display itself is OK. In the next sketch we want to count from 0 to 9999. The main part of the declaration and setup sections of the code look the same. We additionally have to declare the digits array, which contains 10 byte values, one for each possible digit, Bits of each byte represent the state of each segment. Then we also have four variables which would store the current value of each digit in a display. In main loop we have a for loop which increments variable i from 0 to 9999. To display variable i on the display we first calculate what the values for each digit should be. We display leading zeros. And then use set row command to output each digit on the display. With each iteration, the code is executed again for i value increased by 1 until we reach the value of 9999. Let's send the code to Arduino and check the results. Works great! We can also write the same code using setDigit command. You do not need to declare the digits array and additional variables. Here in the main loop we have the same for loop. In it we execute set digit command to output four digits calculated using the same formulas as in previous example. The result is exactly the same. Before we finish, let's try to control 8 LEDs that will represent future large custom 7-segment display. First LED is white and represents decimal point, remaining 7s are red and represent segment from A to G. Let's connect the LOT to MAX7219 module. The common ground of all LEDs is connected to row 1. 
and then we connect individual segments to corresponding columns. The code we are going to send will be the test code to check all the segments. This time one for loop will do as we just have one digit to display. Then we will have another for loop to display all 10 digits using set digit command. This also works, and that means that I have proven the concept and I can start designing the clock with large 4-digit custom-built 7-segment display. The MAX7219 module I used in this project would be a bit awkward to use, but there are more compact versions available which would be easier to incorporate into the custom PCB. But this is the topic for a whole new video. Thank you for watching, like this video if you found it useful, Subscribe if you don't want to miss similar content coming up. I will see you in my next video.